Ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, these are five shockers that can happen at WrestleMania 40. This video right here is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. So if you guys are looking for tickets for any event in the entire world, just get them through SeatGeek. Use my last name, Code Hodge, at checkout, and you'll actually get $20 off your tickets. Now, this is for first-time orders only, so if you use SeatGeek before, just make a new account, guys. You can still use the code. Get $20 off any ticket for any event just by using Code Hodge on SeatGeek at checkout. Okay, when I said there was like five things, I kind of lied. I'm going to do six things, just a little extra for you guys. So these are six shocker things that could happen at WrestleMania 40. Uh, if you guys have anything I don't mention in this video, leave it in the comment section down below. But in my opinion, these are some crazy things that could happen. I, not everyone's going to like it, but these are some crazy things that could happen. So we're going to get this off with number one. So number one, uh, we're having a matchup for the Intercontinental Championship. We're having Gunther take on Sami Zayn. Okay, Sammy is not really built up like he was, like, November of 2022 or whatever, where he was just, like, so over, where it's, like, so believable. I mean, he was, like, like, like bumping Roman or whatever. Now he's not really to that level anymore. He's still freaking amazing. He's still wonderful. But is he a legitimate, like, challenger here? I don't know. But nonetheless, I think it would be a pretty big shocker if Sammy Zayn actually beat Gunther. I, I, I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. Gunther's have this really long, undefeated, very long title reign. Could it be ended by Sami Zayn? Maybe. Would it be a shocker? Hell yes, it would be a shocker. So that's like number six on this list. Number six on this list. All right, number five. Number five. This is this is gonna be a big shock and a big surprise for everyone. So number five would actually be a John Cena match. What? Okay, so John Cena's not currently on the card. Uh, John Cena. I don't know if he's in the middle of filming something. Obviously, if he's if he's like in the middle of filming something, he can't do anything dangerous like wrestling because the insurance policy on the movies. So he can't actually wrestle. He could just like be there, like wave or something like that. I don't know. But uh, basically, a John Cena match would be amazing. They could add it last minute. They could do it, make it happen. And John Cena match WrestleMania would be a big shocker. All right, number four. Number four would be a pretty giant shocker. Um, so there is a there's, there's a match a lot of people are excited to see at uh, WrestleMania 40. It is brother versus brother, if you will. This is Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. Okay, so what's the big shocker that could happen in this? Okay, well, there's going to be a match. There's going to be a winner and a loser of the match. But maybe, just maybe, during the course of the match, they realize this is stupid and they should just, like, be brothers again and then just make everything happen. And maybe, just maybe, Jay Uso rejoins the bloodline. You got the Usos back in the bloodline together. So this would be very big. This would be a big shocker. And it's something I could definitely see happening. Very good storytelling purposes. If they find out the problems and be like, oh, this is stupid. Let's just get along and do it. Uh, so I could definitely see this happening. Um, but it would be a big shocker if it does happen. All right, we're done number three already, guys. So this one is one that's very overdue. And this has to happen sometime soon. I think WrestleMania is a great opportunity to do it. Number three is actually a Damian Priest cash-in. So Damian Priest is still, and you heard me right, he is still Mr. Money in the Bank. A pay-per-view that happened in last summer. Uh, and he still has that briefcase. He's not cashed in. He's teased it a few times. Cash in. When, when, when are you going to do this? You have to do it because the contract expires by Money in the Bank. So literally, they could push it all the way back to then if they had to. But basically, WrestleMania is a good opportunity to do it. In the grandest stage of them all, not too many people wait that long to cash in. Uh, more memorable, uh, like the Seth Rollins waited to cash in. It was just a wonderful moment. This is something Damian Creed Priest could do. He could literally add himself to the match and make it like a triple threat match. Or he could wait till someone wins the match or they're getting beat up or something. Capitalize on that moment, cash in the briefcase. I don't think he's going to be cashing in on like Roman or Cody or anybody, but I think uh, during the World Heavyweight Championship match, Seth Rollins, we've got uh, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, maybe Drew McIntyre takes the title, maybe Rollins beats him up after the match, but I don't know if that really works as a heel babyface thing, whatever. Okay, maybe there'll be an opportunity there, uh, Damian Priest is going to cash in and become champion, or maybe it'll be a failed cash in, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, but a Damian Priest cash in, I believe is very plausible, probably going to happen. If he's going to win or not, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments. But Damian Priest cash in would be a shocker. All right, number two. Number two is going to be, um, I guess we're going to say, The Rock turns on Roman. So they're already planting the seeds. Obviously, it's happening. Just when is it happening? I don't know. How long is this whole bloodline, giant bloodline family thing going to go on? Is it going to end as soon as WrestleMania? Because it really would be quite short by then and just going on for a few months. Or is it going to go on for like a year or something like that before they actually... Do it. I believe the longer term storytelling would be better, but at the same time, the Rock schedule, I don't know. So they're going to sit, sit this up because we're going to definitely have Rock versus Roman Reigns in the future. That was supposed to be the match this year, of course, because of course the Cody fans didn't allow that to happen. Uh, so basically, Rock 
Roman, it's got to happen. He, uh, like, a, like a turn costing Roman the championship, having Cody finish his story would work. Uh, being uh, Not making Roman look weak or anything like that, giving Cody the championships, setting up Rock and Roman. It kind of solves a bunch of problems with one go around to do that. So Rock turning on Roman costing the championship is definitely possible and it'll definitely be a big shock at WrestleMania 40. All right, ladies and gentlemen, number, eight, number one, the biggest shock that they could do at WrestleMania 40 that would give the fans the most, let's say, emotion possible would be Cody failing a second time. Uh, you heard me right. So what if what, what if Cody doesn't finish his story? What if he doesn't? Because this is all we hear, like constantly, week after week after week. This is all here. Cody's gonna finish his story. Cody's gonna finish his story. He's gonna finish his story at WrestleMania. He's gonna finish my. He's gonna finish his finish his story. I am so. Beyond sick. I love Cody. I love what they're doing. I love everything. But I'm just so beyond sick of hearing the phrase finish the story. I'm like, screw the story. Just wrestle, dude. Just wrestle. My God. Okay, so basically, what if Cody doesn't win the second time? Okay, what one, one it's gonna make Cody look really weak. And they don't want to do that. And they wouldn't have booked this, I don't think, if Cody wasn't winning. But at the same time, the emotion, the anger, the hatred every fan would have. If Cody didn't win, it just makes me smile. It's like, I just, I just want to see that reaction. Or at least tease it, do it like a false finish or something. And I just want to see, like, like, like I'll ever want to be mad. But it is possible that since Roman has been champion for like 20 years now, that they don't want Roman to lose even now. And that uh, Cody is not going to win. Uh, he doesn't have to lose, maybe. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe get out of it some kind of uh, a DQ or something. I don't know how they would do that. But I don't know. Cody not winning second year in a row. Would be the biggest shock of the entire show. Are they going to do it? Probably not, because everyone's just going to go haywire and hijack the show again. And we're just going to have the match again and have Cody win again, literally, the next paper. It would be pointless, but it would be a very big shock if they did decide to have Cody lose two years in a row. So there you guys have it. Those are my thoughts on some shockers that could ever happen at WrestleMania 40. Let me know if I didn't miss anything. Let me know in the comment section down below. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your one and only undisputed king of vlog stuff, Brandon Hodge. And I will see you guys in the next video.